I work in the distributed systems group, mostly focused on storage vMotion. And prior to that, the group was actually merged with the resource management that also did all the memory and CPU scheduling features for ESX platform. Originally, when I first joined, this was one of the first things I started experimenting with. I was interested in resource management. At the time, resource management was part of our team. And I was looking at how can we improve the memory overcommit of our systems. So I started experimenting and playing around with how much possible tricks we can play with compression, with uh, dedupe and other things that we aren't doing today. Today we were doing page sharing and swapping, which seemed to be doing pretty well for most of our customers, but there were customers who were wanting to push those limits further. So I started examining VM dumps and looking at what kinds of benefits we can get from memory compression. The net effect with memory compression is that you can increase the amount of VMs you place on a single box with the same amount of memory. What the real problem here is, can a customer just buy more memory? And yes, they can up to a certain point. At some point, the cost of more memory isn't linear scalability. It starts to ex get exponentially more expensive. And at that point, it becomes cost effective to use memory over commit to save them a lot of money and to save them the ability to also use older hardware and older setups. You know, they have no more DIMM slots available on their servers, so they're unable to add more memory to those servers. So with memory compression, we can push that up to 20 or 30% more by taking some of the VM memory that's not used very often and compress that memory away. One of the really interesting things about this is that this is one of these ideas, sort of like virtualization, that's a recurring idea. This idea has kind of come back again and again. And with the current landscape of virtualization, we're really pushing the overcommit on memory while you have plenty of CPU and multi-cores making the problem even worse. So we had to look at this of how do you address this problem more. And compression seemed like a very reasonable solution given the excess of CPU usage that was available for us. Memory compression, the, the nice thing, even though this is a recurring idea and this idea has been done previously, we're doing it here transparently for all the guest operating systems. You don't have to install custom software for each guest operating system. You don't have to do a lot of management. There was a lot of issues with the early designs with just how do you manage the memory between the, the applications currently running and the bar memory that you're borrowing in order to store a compression cache. This compression cache, we're managing this outside of the VM, and we're able to do that a lot better with the resource scheduling controls that we have here at VMware that other solutions can't necessarily give.